Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to generate variance and bias from mean square error. So we will see that we will learn today the extraction of bias and variance. Variance of theta estimate plus bias square theta. So this is a estimate for some parameters. So we use the head and we generate variance and bias square from MSC. So MSC is one, one kind of a error. We here see that as a error and we know that a error is basically the difference between the expected value and the true population parameter value. So it is the difference and this difference measurement is a error. We define error. Now we will define the square. Squared for defining the square error, we just give a square in, in that. And for mean, we just take our expectation. And we know that uh, in a statistics, we use expected value for generate the mean. So this is actually the mean square error look like. Now we will derive uh, from this to this expression. Let's start without any delay. We first of all do uh, extract this thing and we will generate, uh, we will apply a minus b whole square formula in that and we see how we can do that. Uh, First of all, the expected value, the expected value, and uh, that will be theta cap square plus theta square minus two theta cap theta. That is it look like. Now we will give every element in that in the block as expected value so we will do that expectation of theta cap square plus expected value of theta square minus 2 so theta expectation of 2 theta cap theta So expected value of theta cap whole square uh, plus we know that any uh, any you know any constant value the expectation is just the value itself so here will be theta square minus here constant value is 2 and theta so we will out of that expectation to theta and expectation of theta cap now we have to look at the first thing here we see a variance and a bias do you know what is the variance of the estimator here so we have to just recover some formulas this variance theta hat uh, define as expected value of theta cap whole square minus expected value of theta cap whole to the power square okay and the next thing is to define the bias bias is uh, the expected value of the theta cap minus the theta the formula of bias for sorry for theta hat now if we see uh, we had a expected value of theta cap square so we found it in the variance and we need minus 
expected value of theta cap whole to the power square that is the thing that not in here in this term so we need that term for that we just do a simple thing expected value of theta cap whole square um, minus expected value of theta cap whole to the power square that is the term that we just write extra for that we just to cancel it like that expected value of theta cap molar square nothing actually happened here just cancelling that if we so we can write uh, the last right um, we can now <coughs> write this expression as a variance that is the reason why I do this we did this okay and the next thing we have to figure out the bias this is the bias what if we just go for a bias square bias square so expected value of theta cap minus theta whole to the power square okay uh, so so we have to do something in that we just one more thing we did do here is to expand this expected value uh, sorry no. the expected value of theta hat minus we will write here like that square plus theta square minus 2 into expected value of theta hat into theta okay so matching that we had theta square we had a theta square in that we had a theta square in that and plus <coughs> same thing we had in there we had in there as well and this extractum thing as we will here so i just write a more line to simply makes you comfortable with it theta cap you see we write like that and this expression is nothing but this expression and it is actually the bias square so we can write here this particular exp expression as a bias square for theta cap estimator and this expression we can write as uh, variance of theta cap estimator so you see our proof our actual proof that we need to prove the M is E uh, for theta hat we proved it in this expression and let me tell you one more thing that why M is is uh, very important as we see that there is a lot of types of euros the most important uh, thing about M is E is its analytical form we can derive two things variance and bias and variance the term is very important we see some cases of unbiased estimator the bias goes for creates a value zero then the total error depends on the variance so such kind of thing we can derive from MSC so that is why the MSC is very important so thank you very much for watching this video